This morning in a special earlier installment of Forever Young, A Guide to Life After 50, we're wrapping up our series on how to look good and feel good as you age. Today's focus is skin care. Dr. Deborah Sarnoff, a board certified dermatologist, has some tips on how you can achieve a healthy looking glow even as you grow older. Dr. Sarnoff, good morning. Good morning. Anne. Talk about a topic that everybody wants to know more about. Is there really any way to slow the aging process? I think that there's a lot of things we can do today to slow it down because we know that so much of aging relates to sun exposure. So if we can protect ourselves from the sun, we're doing ourselves a great service. So one of the things you have on the table here is sunscreen, but you also have um, moisturizers and, and things like that. Yes, and it's been shown if daily we use moisturizer and we use a sunscreen, we can really protect ourselves from further damage and we can actually, in some ways, reverse some of the damage that's been done And already. moisturize heavily after a shower when your skin is still moist. The best time to do it exactly right is when the skin is still damp. If you still, if you have some issues though beyond the average sort of just moisturizing your face, there's also the possibility of using, and we're hearing about these prescription creams. What do you think about these? Yes. Well, what can they do? First of all, we have what's called cosmeceuticals. They're really cosmetics, but they have wonderful ingredients inside. Things like alpha hydroxy acids, an example would be glycolic acid, which is very popular, that's added to some of the moisturizers, or beta hydroxy acids, an example would be salicylic acid. And what these additives do is they keep our cells turning over more rapidly and they help us slough the very top layer because, you know, the top layer of our skin is actually dead skin cells. And if you get those dead cells off, you get the dull surface off and you can get smoother skin, less lined. Like a baby's bottom. Exactly. Let's move on to the more dramatic sort of uh, actions you could take. For example, a chemical peel. This gives me. Is this safe, number one, and do you recommend it? Well, I think when you say chemical, it's usually an acid. If you start with the fruit acids, those are the gentle chemical peels. That would be a lunchtime peel. Perhaps you'd go to your dermatologist's office. Spend about $100, $250. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And either an esthetician or perhaps what are the, the risks doctor. Of that? The risks would be that the, the acid would be left on too long. That you don't want to have. It mm. has to be timed. You have to be looking at the skin. And when the skin gets a little bit of a pink reaction, it's time to wash off. There's also the issue a lot of women have brown spots or marks on their faces. And there's a way to get those off called laser, laser surgery. And you you really like this this idea this oh, technique absolutely you need the right laser and of course you need a doctor that's very well trained in the technique but what you can do is you can just simply zap those little spots so that if something like a bleaching cream is not working well enough it's time to maybe think about consulting and a you doctor can use the laser. same procedure on your hands for absolutely example, for you know and that's the dead giveaway when you've had a great face but you have old hands and it's there's the a before and after way. picture and and it, it well when they're they're not the same hand though yeah they are the same hand but the there coloring is a, not so great on I this see. Okay. okay. We also have um, the, uh, some v video of you using laser surgery on a patient's face. Yes. Um, essentially, how dramatic a change can you make using laser surgery on wrinkles? With this type of laser, we can make a very dramatic difference, particularly for lines around the mouth, what we call those bliss lipstick bleed lines when the lipstick kind of goes up as we get older. Smokers have very deep creases around the mouth. Sometimes we have the creases around the eyes. And for that type of thing, resurfacing with the laser is wonderful. We take the whole top layer of the skin off. All right, Dr. Deborah, Deborah Sarna, thank you so much for giving us a little run through of the things that are possible to help us feel better about how we look. Thanks for having me. We'll be back right after this.